What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Flying Kel here, and today I am at De La Salle University. We can see the university behind us right now. It looks really, really good. There is a little bit of a fence in front of it though, so let's see if we can make our way in there, guys. Really modern buildings and nice grassy fields and a lot of people. It looks like a very, very beautiful university from the outside, that's for sure. The university was established in 1911, so it's quite an old university. It was founded by a Christian brotherhood. It's named after the Lasalle brothers, who are of Irish origin. Good vibes around the campus already. So De La Salle University is located right next to Tuft Avenue, which is a very, very busy street. The main entrance of De La Salle University. De La Salle University is an elite university here in the Philippines. And also in the world, it ranks very well. So a very, very good academic institution. Let's see if we can get in people. I've heard that uh, it could be quite a challenge, but we gotta get it done. Let's start the mission. Automatic doors. I feel like a VIP already. Stage one has been cleared. Wow, the entrance hall looks really nice, guys. Check this out. Now let's see if we can actually get in. Flying Kel is in. I even have my very own entry card. Don't ask me how I did it. I have my ways. I'm a member of the club now, people. I'm a member of the club. Okay, so look at this, guys. Look at this plaque right here. De La Salle University has a lot of history, guys. As I said earlier, it was established by a Christian brotherhood, and it also had a role to play during World War II when the Japanese invaded Manila. During World War II, De La Salle was actually one of the very few universities that remained in operation because it was kind of located on the outside of the city. So what happened was other neighboring universities, which included Ateneo de Manila, La Salle's big rival school, actually had students take class here at De La Salle. So De La Salle and Ateneo had to put their legendary school rivalry behind them and take classes together. And that is nice that in difficult times, you know, they're able to put away their vicious rivalry and still come together. The campus was actually used during certain periods of World War II as a, a civilian refuge and after that the Japanese took it over and used it as a defense headquarters. This plaque right here is in remembrance of the Christian brothers that were killed during World War II. They were LaSalle brothers serving here. A lot of history here at De La Salle. And the memorial plaque is located right next to the school chapel. Look at this, it's gorgeous. Apparently this chapel dates back to 1924. Beautiful woodworking and benches, a mosaic in the windows. I think I have seen the chapel. I'm gonna head over to the next destination. Despite the fact that De La Salle is located right next to Tuft Avenue, which is so busy with so much traffic and loud noises, once you get inside, you enter a beautiful little study scientific paradise with uh, trees and gorgeous old buildings. A lot of very good studying can be done here, guys, in peace. Lasullians are sitting there under the shade of the tree in this beautiful little courtyard and uh, this looks like a prime place to chill after class. Enough chilling facilities here at De La Salle, that's for sure. For those who do not yet know, I myself studied at the Erasmus University in Rotterdam, Peking University in Beijing, and at the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of explore De La Salle and compare it to my own university experience. 
Yuchenko Hall. That is where the Museum of De La Salle University is located. That building is just extremely impressive. Very well maintained. It's gorgeous. Making my way to the next destination of today's epic De La Salle University tour. What we saw earlier at the start of the video was the old chapel and now we have arrived at the new chapel. And apparently there is a relic inside. A little surprise and I'll tell you guys about it when I see it. This chapel is a lot smaller but also very nice. Here is the surprise, the relic that is being kept here in this chapel. It is a bone of Saint LaSalle himself. The forefather of the LaSalle University. This is where the library of de la Salle University is. Apparently, this is the center of DLSU. And I can see that because there are a lot of students here. The coolest thing about this building is that it is completely supported by pillars. Like, it doesn't touch the ground. So there's a whole shady area right at the bottom of it and everybody's just chilling basically under the building. That is so cool. That is some serious design right there. DLSU is actually quite a small university campus so they've come up with some really brilliant plans to maximize the space on their campus grounds and I think having a building that's basically like supported by pillars with a lot of space under it is one of those ways we're going in people we're going in I'm so excited I'm gonna be walking under a building a lot of people chilling here they're just having a good time under this huge building right here super nice little air tunnel here so you get a nice breeze and you get the shade i am making my way up apparently there's a really cool bridge that connects several buildings together and uh, i want to walk that because you're going to get an epic view if you're up there this building in particular it really reminds me actually of my own campus the erasmus university in the Netherlands and the size of the campus does as well actually it's a very similar size to Dutch university campuses I mean, it's much smaller than like the campuses in Beijing or the one of UPenn and up and up we're going people that view on that bridge is gonna be epic I can't wait so we have made our way to the top I can see the bridge and this is already so nice Super cool design, very modern. There's no window here, people. No windows. Optimum breeze design. Okay, we are on the bridge. The whole history of De La Salle University is laid out here. And I'll just show you one, the most significant happening. 1911, people the birth of De La Salle University. On June 16, the brothers of the Christian schools opened the first La Salle school. There you have it. The view here is really cool. We can see a huge football field right there. That right there is the National Football Stadium of the Philippines. Standing here on this bridge, I can see it with a perfect view. I've heard that when big international matches are happening here, this entire bridge just fills up with De La Salle students and they're all watching the match for free. Just an added bonus of attending De La Salle University. Epic free football games. We have arrived at the auditorium. Let's have a little peek, just a sneaky little peek. That is huge. That looks like they can have some really, really cool activities and uh, performances there. Actually, that reminds me of the theater at uh, Penn and at Beijing University. They have very similar theaters to this where they have plays and performances. We're in the De La Salle lift going down to the ground floor. Taking it as it comes, people. This is adventure right here. This is exploring. And here we have the DLSU store. I've read online that there's a lot of school pride going on here. So uh, everybody probably comes here and buys their shirts before a sports game, especially against Ateneo people. Then they're definitely gonna show their school pride. And uh, they're probably all wearing the school colors, which are white and 
Green. Green stands for the Irish origin of De La Salle and white symbolizes the Philippines being a pearl in the Oriental Seas. We have found the De La Salle University school mascot, the Green Archer. This mascot has a very special story behind it. It uh, represents Saint De La Salle, who was a very rich man, but sacrificed his wealth for the good of society. So this is kind of like Robin Hood right here. Honestly, out of a lot of school mascots that I've seen in my day, a guy shooting a bow and arrow, that's pretty badass, people. That's pretty badass. We are on the main walkway of campus and there's a lot of students walking here. I feel like everybody's happy people. I'm getting the happy vibe right now. So uh, this is really, really nice. Is that the canteen guys? I see a lot of people standing in front of little food stalls. So uh, let's check that out quickly. I think this might not be the main canteen, more of a standing, eat something really fast type place right here. This just seems like a great place to get a snack. There's little stone desks right here outside under this little sunscreen right here. And the people are just studying here. The universities I went to were all in countries where you have like summer and winter. And in the winter, you know, the weather gets cold, people. Believe me, the campuses will be snowed over. But I've never seen that before, but that's so cool that you can just study outside year round in the beautiful weather of the Philippines. This looks like some type of activity area, and I'm assuming those are like student organizations. People are doing a lot of extracurricular activities. That actually really reminds me of American student life, because in America, extracurricular activities are actually very, very important and add a lot to student life on those campuses. They have a fun and diverse student life right here on a DLSU. Another chill little food place. Wow, guys. I'm not kidding, it smells really good. It's making me hungry just smelling it right now. It smells so good. It's really cool how they just have a bunch of little food stalls and food places around campus. You don't have to go to one central area. You can just walk from one place to another and it probably has like a food place somewhere, people. So you can fill up those tummies and concentrate in class. This is a really nice bustling little area here on campus. They have Subway. So you can get a nice Subway sandwich. My campuses never had fast food on them, but it's pretty cool that they got Subway right here. And they have Starbucks as well. That is really cool. Actually, out of all the universities I went to, there was one with Starbucks, and that was Penn. Penn has a Starbucks on campus as well. And uh, I spent quite a bit of time there chilling myself, so uh, prime chill location right here. And we are now nearing the tallest school building in the Philippines. Right here, look at that, it is very, very tall. Wow. It comes down to De La Salle University campus being quite small in comparison with other university campuses. So they come up with smart ideas to solve that problem. And one of those ideas is, hey, let's just build the tallest school building in the country. Because why not? Wow, they have their very own shopping mall here. It is owned by SM. This is a legit mall right here on campus. So in between classes, you can go shopping if you want. <laughs> that is so epic. <laughs> Believe me, none of the universities I've attended in the Netherlands, China or the US have had their own shopping malls, guys. So De La Salle University actually has its own sports complex. They have their own swimming pool. So after a really bad exam where you're sweating your butt off, you can uh, jump into the water right here and cool down a little bit. The universities I attended in China and the US had their own swimming pools too. It's always really, really nice when a university has its own sports facilities. I just got out of the lift, guys. I took the lift all the way up to the ninth floor of the De La Salle University Sports Complex. This is where the sports teams of De La Salle practice. De La Salle University is actually famous for its strong sports teams, most notably its basketball team, its football team, cheerleaders and the volleyball team. And uh, we can actually see a few basketballers playing and practicing right now, so check it out.
That is an epic basketball field right here, people. Wow. There we have the DLSU cap with a green archer on it. And look at this, guys. Here we have some gigantic trophies that the sports teams here have won. So check it out. These trophies are, these trophies are cool. Whoa. The trophies here are the rewards for winning the most games in the entire league. And um, De La Salle has three of them, people. That is some epic performance right here. We just went down the stairs and we are now in the PE classroom. This is a giant PE classroom, guys. And just like that, people, we are out of the sports complex. We are now on our way to the facade of the Saint LaSalle Hall, which is meant to be a very iconic and beautiful part of campus. Everybody's just chilling and studying, and the vibes are really good here, guys, really. Like, that's the thing, right? Like, bigger is not always better. This is a little bit of a smaller campus, but it just makes the whole campus way more cozy way more bustling everything's in like nice and tightly knit together and uh, I think that's a very nice thing and there we have it people the facade of Saint de la Salle what a very very beautiful building ah it's just I feel like it's really affected me just being here you know like there's some kind of magic that they got going on here it's just so nice and look Whoa, look at that. My t-shirt just suddenly turned green. La Salle. That must be because of this beautiful building right here. No other explanation. So I read online that this building is the only building in the Philippines that is included in the 1001 buildings you must visit before you die. I can see why, people. This is a very, very beautiful building. And it actually really reminds me of like these beautiful grand buildings in the United States, like in New York, in the courthouse for instance. Very, very beautiful. All right guys, my transformation is complete. I'm a real Lasallian now. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you want to keep up to date with Flying Kel Travels. If you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, don't forget to like it, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell, and then, my fellow people, I shall see you in the next episode. Peace out, take it easy, animo la sal.